Now, when I asked some of my followers what booth I should check out at CES, I was told I have to go to Xtool. So I'm here with Stein from Xtool. This booth is massive. Yes. Wow, okay. And behind us, what do we have going on here? Thank you, first of all, just <laughs> for having us. So yeah, we're at the Xtool booth. This, what you're looking at is a carding. Uh, and this is done by one of our metal fab machines and cut well into one piece. So this is what we are trying to tell the public that you can use a very accessible tool out of a garage and build something like this. So you guys might be wondering, so what exactly is Xtool? We're about to show you because this booth has so many incredible things. So what's the first thing we should go check out? So let's go to the metal fab first. Okay. Whoa, okay, so wait, you, this is kind of, that looks heavy. You want to hold it? Yeah. Watch out. Whoa, okay, this is amazing. It's real, I mean, it's so much layers yeah. that we cut from this machine. So from carding car to, you know, some decorative steel pieces like this, this all can be done within this machine. This machine is a 1200 watts of fiber laser. It cuts, it welds, uh, engraves, and also does rust removal as well. So it's a four in one. Can we take a closer look yes, at it? Yes, let's do it. Okay, I just wrote my name and we're gonna cut my name out. Time to cut, okay, okay here we go. Wow! So it's basically using a laser to cut through this metal. It's incredible. Oh my goodness. It's a little bit warm, but it's good Look to go. Look at this! Okay, all right, next stop in the booth. Where are all we right, going? Let's go. Now we're about to go into the welding room. So can you walk me through what we're gonna do, what equipment I need, because I've actually never welded before. Absolutely, so my name is Monim. I'm the technical support engineer for Xtool. So for uh, laser welding, it's different from traditional welding in that it's a lot easier. The gun will move backwards by itself when we do the weld, so you don't have to worry about doing a whip or any sort of uh, movement with the gun itself. Uh, the equipment that you need, um, laser goggles, of course, the mask, and gloves. That's all you need to start laser welding. That's it? That's it. Okay, all right. And I guess maybe walk me through kind of the technology of laser welding, because I've actually never heard of that before, so how does that all work and what tech behind it? Gotcha, the tech behind our laser, it's a 1200 watt fiber laser. So basically the fiber optic cable is doped with certain elements and that produces that uh, fiber laser that we use to then melt a steel core wire, aluminum wire or brass wire onto the material. And that contraction and the melting of the material uh, produces that bond that results in a weld. Okay, so my new hobbies include welding. All right, let's go. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Wow. Um, so I was kind of fascinated because I just, at first I thought like we just have like this little like laser gun, but it's actually attached to things. So what is that actually attached to? So it's attached to our gun for shielding, of course. You know, you don't want your weld to oxidize. And so that machine is connected to the laser welder itself and the wire feeder as well. That's amazing. I mean, that's going to basically change the industry. Yeah, it will. It double will. You guys announced here at CES that you're going to be coming out with a UV printer. Correct. And I'm holding one project to print about our UV printer. And this is the UV printer of Xtrol. Look at this. It's behind the glass so no one can touch. <laughs> Protected. Coming soon. Yeah, so UV printer is a little bit different from DTI printer I just we just saw. Uh, DTI printer prints on fabrics, but this one can print on any hard surfaces. No. So something like this. It's coming up in Q2. But you can see, and what I say, uh, what I can see is this project, also this 3D uh, printed, uh, was you know also printed by this UV printer, and all this ornaments here was printed by this one. Look at all of these things. So look at the result, look at the performance. You will see this is a very nice UV printer. Now I've used UV printers before, and I'm such a huge fan. Like it's so much fun. I don't think people realize like the things that you can do, and I love that you're able to print on literally anything. I mean, look yeah. at this. Well, thank you so much. I had the best time. Great.